Good evening and welcome in tonight's news. The foreign minister meets with Lebanese officials in Beirut and affirms that Jordan will not become a battlefield for any party. Israeli occupation forces commit four massacres in Gaza, killing 39 Palestinians and injuring 137 others. And the Ministry of Planning announces the signing of a $100 million agreement to implement a comprehensive digital transformation project at the Ministry of Health. To the details, hello and welcome again. Former President of the Higher Administrative Court, Judge Mahmoud Ababne has been sworn in before His Majesty King Abdullah as President of the Judicial Council following a royal decree. Another royal decree appointed former President of the Judicial Council, Judge Mohammed al Ghazu, as President of the Constitutional Court, while Judge Mohammed Ishaymat was sworn in before His Majesty the King as a member of the Constitutional Court. Under the directives of His Majesty King Abdullah II, Jordan today evacuated 44 Jordanian citizens from Lebanon via a military aircraft belonging to the Royal Jordanian Air Force. The aircraft arrived at Rafiq Al Hariri International Airport this morning, carrying humanitarian aid for the Lebanese people. The official spokesperson for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Sufyan Lakda, stated that the evacuation operation was part of a plan developed by the ministry in collaboration with the Jordanian Armed Forces, security agencies, the Ministry of Interior, and the National Center for Security and Crisis Management. The aim is to ensure the safe return of Jordanian citizens in Lebanon to the kingdom amidst the ongoing Israeli aggression against Lebanese territory. Foreign Minister Ayman Safadi affirmed that Jordan will not become a battlefield for any party and will not permit violations of its airspace and sovereignty. Following a meeting with Lebanon's caretaker Prime Minister Najib Mikhati, Safadi emphasized that Jordan is actively working with all parties to put an end to Israel's aggression against Lebanon. In a separate meeting with Speaker of the Lebanese Parliament, Nabi Hibiri, they discussed efforts to halt the Israeli offensive and ensure the full implementation of UN Security Council Resolution 1701. Safari also met with Commander of the Lebanese Army, General Joseph Aoun, reiterating Jordan's unwavering support for Lebanon's security, stability and the safety of its people. Upon royal directive, Safari arrived in Beirut aboard a Jordanian aid plane for a solidarity visit. The plane was loaded with 13 tons of food supplies, relief materials, medications and medical equipment, marking the seventh aid shipment sent to Lebanon since September 18th. And in Lebanon, Israeli warplanes have launched new airstrikes on Beirut's southern suburbs, resulting in the deaths of at least 10 people. According to Lebanon's health ministry, 10 firefighters lost their lives in an Israeli strike on a municipal building in the southern town of Bintijbel. Meanwhile, Hezbollah rockets targeted the city of Haifa early this morning, as Israel appears ready to expand ground incursions into southern Lebanon on the first anniversary of the Gaza war. In related news, the Israeli military has announced the death of a second soldier in combat along the Lebanese border. Turning now to the Gaza Strip, where Israeli occupation forces have reportedly committed four massacres, killing 39 Palestinians and injuring 137 others just in the past 24 hours. Israel has intensified its air and ground offensive in Gaza, targeting Hamas fighters and command posts as both sides observe the first anniversary of the war. As Israel's genocidal war on Gaza marks one year, Gaza's health ministry reports that at least 41,900 Palestinians have been killed and more than 97,300 others have been injured since the onset of Israel's unrelenting attacks. And in the occupied West Bank, a Palestinian child was killed and eight others were injured during Israeli military incursion into the Qalandia refugee camp north of, the, north of occupied Jerusalem. In related developments, Israeli occupation forces arrested 50 Palestinians during raids across various parts of the occupied West Bank. Back here at home, the Ministry of Planning and International Cooperation has announced the signing of a $100 million agreement with the Abu Dhabi Fund for Development. 
This partnership aims to implement a comprehensive digital transformation project at the Ministry of Health. The agreement was signed by Minister of Digital Economy and Entrepreneurship, Sami Smirat, alongside Chief Operating Officer of Presight, Adil Sherji. Presight is a prominent Abu Dhabi-based company specializing in artificial intelligence and big data analytics. This initiative is set to enhance the health services available to citizens, tackle existing challenges within the health sector, and ensure that the kingdom keeps pace with modern technological advancements in healthcare. Thank you so much for your time.